Hey guys, I'm Shannon. Welcome to my channel. Today we're doing the rainy day book tag. It was created by that bookie, and I love a good rainy day. So I was really excited to do this tag, and I'm just gonna jump right into it. So I've only read this book once, but I cried so much throughout it, and just thinking about the part that made me cry, I'm already starting to like tear up a little bit. And that's Heart on Fire by Amanda Bochette. I love this series and she kind of you know, tore my heart out a little bit with this one but uh, I still love the series, love the book and I highly recommend it. So I actually had a hard time with this one because I just didn't really have a lot of books like around or underwater, at least not ones that I've read yet. So I ended up picking The Hunt for Atlantis. I haven't read this in years, but I remember that they spent, I think, a lot of time on a boat, so I'm just going to go with that. I do want to get back into this series. It was this one and the second book I read. They were really good, and I liked them, and then I didn't get the third book, and then it just didn't happen, you know, how reading, how reading turns out. just didn't get the third book and never got around to it, so it's one of the series that I really need to get back to because they're really good. And the first book is Hunting for Atlantis. The second book is The Tomb of Hercules. And I want another one down the line that I do have is Emp Empire of Gold. So it's like a bunch of adventure novels that I really like. So for this one, I picked Old Magic. The character in here, Jerry, doesn't really have a damned soul, but his family turns out to be cursed, and him and Kate have to go back in time and try to break the curse uh, to save his brother. And I kind of see that as the same thing because of how much tragedy his family has gone through because of this curse that he didn't even know was on his family until he met Kate. So I think that that kind of classifies it. There are the books that I have that have characters that technically have damn souls, but that's like the first one that pops into my mind. For this one I picked A Discovery of Witches. It was a slower paced novel but it still kept my curiosity and I read it in a couple of days because I was just so intrigued by it but it wasn't like an exhilarating read where it makes you like your heart beat fast and then you're like tired after reading it. It was actually like a really nice comforting read that I just really enjoyed and that's actually one of the things that really stood out about this book to me because so many books nowadays it's always fast paced and you know this that and the other thing and you're trying to keep up and in this one it was more about the journey more about finding out the characters a little bit at a time so I actually really enjoyed that. With this one, I went big and I picked The Lord of the Rings. I love watching The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit. I just think they're an amazing rainy day movie. You can just kind of binge watch them and you have characters that you love and you have an adventure and you have journeys. And they are amazing books and amazing movies and I just, I love them. So I don't have one book for this. So basically any romance novel written by Jenna Showalter, I'm like, that's it. And because I just love all of her romance novels, I've only read two of her young adult novels and that was related to one of her romance series. And I like those two. As for her other young adult novels, I haven't read them and I'm not really overly interested in reading them. I mean, maybe one day, but they're just not that high on my list. I had to go with City of Bones. Simon is amazing and I think that he's one of my favorite characters throughout the series. Clary is definitely lucky to have him as a best friend. I actually don't have a book for this. I don't read a lot of dystopian novels which is where my mind kind of went with this and any of the worlds that kind of are, are you know kind of dirty and grimy didn't really fit this so I got nothing. Had to go with Alice in Wonderland. I love the animals in here, and I think it's just fantastic and hilarious. Definitely my favorite. So there are a lot of books that came to my mind with this, but I had to go with Pride and Prejudice. I think that the ending was just nice, the perfect ending for this book. So I just had to go with that. 
a couple of the other books that I was thinking about, their endings were enjoyable and sweet, but a lot of them left a sour taste. Like, it left a cliffhanger that kind of dulled it a little bit, so that's why I didn't pick them. So that's the end of the rainy day book tag. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did this tag, link it down below and I'll watch your video. Or let me know what your answers are. I would love to have a conversation with you guys. And I'll see you guys in my next video.